Are you the kind of person who is always in a cheerful mood? Someone who is able to look at life in a positive, elevated way? Or are you the kind of person who often feels sad and down? The kind of person who often feels depressed or gloomy? You are probably wondering what your personality has got to do with trigonometry. Join me in the next few lessons and find out. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand what is meant by an angle of elevation, represent information from a real-life example on a mathematical diagram, and use the angle of elevation to solve a problem. I bet all of you can't wait for weekends. Weekends are usually a happy time where we get to spend time with our family and our friends. You might spend it playing soccer. If you were feeling energetic, you could go for a hike in the mountains. Or you could go to a movie. All these fun activities could be looked at in a mathematical way. Let's look at what I mean. In all these activities, from where we are, we would have to look up to the top of the object that we are trying to see. We call this imaginary line from our eyes to the object, the diagonal line, the line of sight. We look up to see the top of the goalpost. We look up to see the mountain and the movie screen. All these activities would make you feel elated or put you in a very cheerful mood. Elevate means move to a higher place. So we call angles that move upwards towards a higher place angles of elevation. Look at the angle created between the imaginary horizontal line and the line of sight. We call this angle the angle of elevation because the angle goes up from the horizontal or flat line. Now that we know what an angle of elevation is, let's use it to solve a problem in trigonometry. Cherise is a mathematics student and has been asked by the art teachers to measure the height of the school building. The art department want to paint a mural to celebrate South Africa's 10 years of democracy. They need to know how high the wall is that they want to paint. Cherise walks 20 meters away from the building. She uses an astrolabe that she made to find the size of the angle of elevation. She finds that the angle of elevation of the top of the building is 38 degrees. Now, Cherise is 1,9 meters tall. What is the height of the building? Now, it is time for us to practice our trig skills. I have a diagram of this problem, so let's use it to find the height of the building. We know that Cherise walks 20 meters from the school. She finds out that the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 38 degrees. Remember that this is the angle going up from the imaginary horizontal line up to the top of the building, 38 degrees. We need to find the height of the building. And we are told that Cherise is 1,9 meters tall. Do you think this piece of information is important? Think about that while we continue to solve our problem. <laughs> It is always a good practice to label and fill in the information given on the diagram that we are working with. We need to find the height of the building. Let's call this height AB. 
We were also told that Cherise walked 20 meters from the school. So let's put in that line and let's write in 20 meters. And let's call this line B, C. Whoopsie. Now we have a slight problem. A, B, C is not a triangle. So far, we have only learned how to solve for heights using trigonometry in right angle triangles. So, we need a right angle triangle to work in. I think we can figure it out if we look closely at all the information we were given. Is there anything we haven't filled into the diagram yet? Yes. Cherise worked out that the angle of elevation to the top of the building was 38 degrees. So the angle going up from the imaginary horizontal line to the top of the building is 38 degrees. We will call this imaginary line DE. This means that the angle AED is 38 degrees. In other words, the angle of elevation at E from DE to EA is 38 degrees. Do you notice anything about the length of DE and BC? That's correct. They are equal in length. So DE is also 20 meters long. Great stuff. We now have a right angle triangle. So we should be able to use trig to work out the height of the building. If we worked with triangle a, D, E. We could find the length of A, D. But hold on. A, D is not the height of the building. It is only part of the length that we are looking for. We need to find the length of A, B in total. Don't flip out just yet. Let's take it one step at a time and think the problem through. We know that we can find the length of AD using trigonometry. And if we could find the length of DB, we could add the two answers together and find the total height of the building. Do you notice anything about the length of DB? Yes, DB is equal to EC, which is equal to 1,9 meters, which is Cherie's height. Now, let's work out AD. In triangle ADE, we have the length of DE and we want the length of AD. Angle E is the angle of elevation at E, 38 degrees. AD is opposite angle E, and DE is next to or adjacent to angle E. We need to use one of the trig ratios. But which one? We have the adjacent side and want the opposite side. Opposite, adjacent, that's it. Tan of an angle. Tan of an angle is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Using the trig ratio of tan, let's fill in what we know. So, we have tan of angle E is equal to opposite, which was side AD, divided by adjacent, which was side DE. We know that the angle of elevation E is 38 degrees, so it will be tan 38 degrees is equal to, we're looking 
to calculate AD and we know that DE is 20 meters. Now in order to get AD alone we multiply both sides by 20 so we get 20 times tan 38 degrees is equal to AD. This means that if we rounded off the answer, AD would be 15,6 meters. Is the height of the school building 15,6 meters? Nope. We need to add on Cherise's height, which is 1,9 meters. <laughs> So, the height of the school building is 17,5 meters high. In this lesson, we were introduced to an angle of elevation. When a person feels good or uplifted, they feel elevated. An angle of elevation is an angle that is measured from the horizontal or flat line upwards. Once we knew what an angle of elevation was, we used it to work out the height of a building. Have you achieved the outcomes for this lesson? Let's look at them again and check. This task will help you to assess whether you have achieved the outcomes for the lesson. Sasha and Nomsa are playing soccer. Nomsa kicks the ball and it lands in a tree. The girls want to know how high the tree is as they want to know whether it is worth getting the ball down or going home to fetch another ball. Nomsa kicked the ball from a point 28 meters from the base of the tree. The angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 43 degrees. They need to calculate the height of the ball from the ground. Here's a hint. Draw your right angled triangle and fill in what you have been given. Using a trig ratio, calculate the height of the ball from the ground. Till next time, stay elevated. Bye bye.